Good morning, everyone. Hard to believe, but it is the last day of March today, March 31st. Greetings to you from Pastor Nick Van Beek uh, here at my office at Calvary Church in Edina, Minnesota. Here at Calvary, we've been uh, putting uh, information for these uh, daily devotionals out on our sign out in front of our building. And so I'm really hoping and praying uh, that we're getting some people from our community uh, checking out these videos and being part of this experience. And so if you're a digital visitor to these uh, devotional videos today, welcome. Uh, know that uh, here at Calvary, we're, we're praying for our community and for our city. And uh, we hope and pray that you are doing well. Yesterday, uh, we talked about that most frequent command that we see in the scripture, that command, do not be afraid. And yesterday, what I did was I asked you and your families to go into your Bibles and to find a passage or a story in Scripture where God or Jesus says to someone, do not be afraid. A big thank you to all of you who responded. We, we got some Old Testament responses. We got some New Testament responses. We got uh, commands to individuals, commands to groups of people. Uh, so many beautiful stories and passages in Scripture where we see this command, and we're going to look at many of those stories. But today, as we begin looking at these passages and these stories together, I would like to start with the very first place in Scripture that we see this command. It happens for the first time in Genesis chapter 15 with the character Abram. And so I'm going to invite you to turn in your Bibles today to the very first book of the Bible, Genesis, or the very first book of the Bible, Genesis, to chapter 15. Uh, and we're not only going to read the command, but we're going to read the story that goes with it. Uh, though we are going to jump around a little bit in Genesis chapter 15. So I invite you to turn in your Bibles with me. Hear the word of the Lord from Genesis chapter 15. After this, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your very great reward. And then Abram and God have kind of a conversation about what he's going to do. And Abram, Abram wants proof that God is going to do what he says he's going to do. And so we're going to jump to verse 9, where the Lord says to him, Bring me a heifer, a goat, and a ram, each three years old, along with a dove and a young pigeon. Abram brought all of these to him, cut them in two, and arranged the halves opposite each other. The birds, however, he did not cut in half. Then birds of prey came down on the carcasses, but Abram drove them away. As the sun was setting, Abram fell into a deep sleep, and a thick and dreadful darkness came over him. We're going to jump down now to verse 17, because there's some confusing things that happen about uh, God speaking about uh, the people of Abram. So we're going to jump to verse 17. When the sun had set and darkness had fallen... A smoking fire pot with a blazing torch appeared and passed between the pieces of the animals. On that day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land, which was part of the promise that God was making to Abram. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's very interesting to me, reading this story, that we have this command, do not be afraid, right before something really scary and really, really confusing happens. We've got this mysterious torch and this fire pot for some reason. We've got all of these bloody, bloody animals. Their bodies are cut in half. What is happening in Genesis 15? This, believe it or not, is part of the beginning of God's plan of restoration and redemption and renewal, not just for Abram, not just for the people of Israel, but for the world. 
In this story, what God is doing is he's establishing a relationship with Abram because he wants to use Abram to make a people for himself and then to use that people to bring about restoration, to bring about renewal and peace to the entire world. And back in Abram's day, when you were making a deal with someone or a contract or a covenant with someone, you didn't use paper and signatures because you didn't have those things. To make a deal with someone, to make a a covenant with someone, you sawed a bunch of animals in half. And then the parties of the covenant would walk between the pieces of the animals. And when you walked between the pieces of the animals, you were saying to each other, may this happen to me. May I be sawn in half if I don't keep my part of the deal, if I don't keep the covenant. Here's one of the crazier things about the story. Who walks between the pieces of the animals? Does Abram? No. God does. God is the one who walks between the pieces. God is the one who is saying in this story, may my body be broken and may I be bloodied to keep the covenant. God is the one assuming all of the responsibility here. He is the one initiating the relationship. He is the one beginning the plan of redemption. Which is why God says to Abram at the beginning of our passage, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your very great reward. God is saying here to Abram, and he's reminding you and he's reminding us today, Abram, people of God, I've got a plan to restore and renew. I've got a purpose for you, and I am going to see it through. And when you fear, people of God, when you fear, Abram, when you fail, people of God, I'm going to take responsibility, and I'm going to make sure the plan will succeed anyway. And indeed, this is what God does. This is exactly what God does in Jesus Christ. Jesus was broken and his body was bloodied to make sure this plan happened. To bring redemption. To bring renewal. To bring peace and hope to you and to me. Because God knows, even when you and I aren't so sure, God knows that he is going to keep his promises. He is going to see his plan of redemption and renewal and peace through. He will accomplish his purposes. He will make all things new. People of God, do not be afraid. And may the Lord be with you.